Oh. <laughs> Oh, Jamie, what are you doing? She's leaving, Mama, and good riddance. Why? J.R. and I just can't seem to get along. He told me to leave. Just like that? Come on, something else must have happened. Doesn't much matter what else happened. He's right. I don't belong here. Jamie, it is not J.R.'s place to tell anyone to leave. This is my home, and I've been very happy that you're here. Mama, she wants to leave. Why are you trying to stop her? She's family. Well, family or no, I don't want her sponging off us anymore. She has not sponged off us. Oh? I wonder how many $500 dresses she's got hanging up in her closet. Not to mention the new car, of course. But uh, I suppose you gave the keys back to Sue Ellen, didn't you? I asked her if I could borrow it for a while. Don't worry, I'll get it back to you as soon as I can. I sure don't want anything that belongs to you. Well, maybe I ought to look in that duffel bag here, see if there's any family silver in there. You know, you really are the pits. J.R., that's a terrible thing to say. I want you to apologize. The hell I will. The sooner she's out of here, the better. J.R. Clayton, please, don't. Despite J.R., I, I want you to know that you're perfectly welcome to stay here. Thanks, Miss Ellie. I know that you do mean that, and I appreciate it, but... I don't want to stay here in the middle of any more battles. Thanks for everything. Is there anything you need? Money to tide you over? Place to stay? No, thanks, Clayton. I'll be okay. It's about time I start making on my own again anyway. Bye. Bye. Why, J.R.? What brought this on? Mama, that little girl is a snoop and a liar. You saw how close she was getting to Sue Ellen? Why does that bother you? Because she is filling her head full of nonsense, talking about things that are none of her damn business. And besides, she's an outsider, and Lord knows we don't need any more of those around this house. Ellie, before it gets out of hand, I think we ought to drop it. Now, why don't you go upstairs, and I'll fix us a nightcap and join you. Don't be too long. I won't. Hi, Mama. Uh, Clayton, I hope you didn't take exception to that little remark about the outsiders. I, I didn't mean you. I know just what you meant, and I couldn't care less. My only concern is Ellie. She's going through a lot right now. And she doesn't need you to make things worse. All I did was get rid of a troublemaker. Really? You know, just before we came in here, your mama was saying with all the troubles going on now, the only unexpected bright spot was you. I should have known it was only a matter of time before you dropped the other shoe. Clayton, you're married to my mother. You're her husband, that's all. You're not a Ewing. What goes on between Ewing's? It's none of your damn business. Well, it's about time you let your real feelings out. I've been a little nervous about your pussyfooting around me. Now, let's understand things. Your mama is a Farlow now. You and Bobby are the only Ewings left with the exception of that little girl you just threw out of here. And if she does what I think she will, it's something you might regret for a very long time. What the hell are you talking about? That document of hers. Now that she's not living here, what's she got to lose by using it? That document is as phony as a $7 bill. Is it? Mm-hmm. You better hope so. Because my guess is she won't waste any time getting back at you. You may have just cost the Ewings Ewing oil. <laughs> 